All right, hello and everyone. Welcome to uh, Start Your Systems. And uh, we are doing an MXS online play here in MX Simulator. And you are joining me, Kellen Brower, alongside Jeremy Hanners as we're going to do some uh, sim racing in the 19801 server. Are you excited, Jeremy? Oh, yeah. Um, Nationals is kind of my forte, as everybody knows from sim. So every time I get to play Nationals, it's, uh, it's a pretty fun time for me. Yeah, Nationals was kind of my thing, too, until I decided to hang it, hang it up. But, uh, no, this should be fun because I, I, I don't think I've played Nationals since Utah. Have you? Um, I haven't played Nationals since Indiana when I came back for that one race. Oh, yeah, that's right, because um, you didn't race Utah, huh? No, I couldn't. I was going to, but then I had some something going on um, that so I couldn't race. And I don't know if I like the track too much. So. Oh, I forgot I'm admin in here. <laughs> that's all right. We get to go <laughs> a little bit quicker. Oh, why then. am I in warm-up mode? Hang on. Oh, because you're server spec right now. Yeah. What a goon. All right, restarting again. Look at this. I forget I'm admin and then I fuck it all up. Yeah, pretty Inter's much. Wearing the same gear. Dude, I love this gear. Yeah, this gear's pretty sweet. You're not wearing the GoPro, though. I know. This is the first time I'm can't... playing uh, Nationals on a 450 since, like, 2012 Nationals. Oh, so. my gosh. Oh, and it looks <laughs> like you got destroyed by somebody. <laughs> my gosh. I just got tossed. Some guy. Oh boy! Yeah, this is no bueno on a supercross setup. <laughs> Let's see if this guy's gonna toss me in this corner down here. All right, so we're playing high point. What do you think of high point, Henry? This is my only career 250 class podium track right here. Um, I've never been a a really big fan of it. Um. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't hate it or anything. I think the only national tracks that I've ever hated in this game was, uh, sadly, Southwick. I just don't like the sand tracks in this game. But um, not a whole lot going on in the scenery or anything. It's just kind of bland and it's kind of boring to play after a while. So, yeah. But I think that the good thing about the whole like not a lot going on in the scenery is it makes it lag less in terms of like a forty-man race. So that's yeah, kind of good, I guess. Yeah, that, especially with. Uh, the tracks that they've been coming out with, um, a, a lot less, um, a lot less hard on the computer, especially if you don't have such a good computer like some of the sim players do. Are you on a 450 right now? Yes. Oh my goodness! When's the last time you rode a 450 outdoors? I know I asked you about when's the last time you even played, but uh, 2012 nationals, I believe. Oh yeah, when you led a, you led Bud's Creek for a while, huh? Yep. What's with us in Bud's Creek, huh? Leading 450 races. I don't know, man. Um, I've I've always liked Bud's Creek. I, it's a uh, it's a fun track. Uh, a lot of elevation change with the off cambers and whatnot. So yeah, it, it can be pretty tricky, but no, it's a it's a fun track. And <laughs> I think it, it was kind of just lucky on my part leading that. <laughs> How long of that race did you lead? I thought you led like about half of it or so. Oh. Um, I I think it was a little less than halfway, just a few laps. Um, a little less. Until all the all the first lap carnage kind of settled down. Everybody started running a faster pace than I did. So. Yeah. I mean that was that was kind of my come up. After that, I was kind of inside the top ten every every race. So. Right. And then. Obviously, 2013 was probably my big year, getting my my uh, my career number. I actually locked that up the last round of nationals in 2013 at Elsinore. I came out yeah. swinging and got a couple top fives, and that was enough to beat Johan out for the career number. weren't you You were in 11th in GNC going into that race, weren't you? Yep, I was. Uh, I think I I forget how many points behind I was, but. I ended up beating out Johan Mayer in the second moto to to clinch it. So good for you. And I remember that race. I had to come from way behind, and I ended up passing him like a little past halfway, and then he just kind of fell back even more. I wish I could say I have a career number. 
We all know you'd be picking 52 as your career number if you got the yeah. chance. I mean, it's kind of nice because since I retired, like if I race EMF or if I race like anything other than RF, they don't really care about numbers. So I'll just run 52. Yeah, and I mean, I don't think that you're going to be coming out and hitting hitting race factory races like you used to. Maybe a Only few Glenn here and Helen there this year. Maybe not even Las Vegas. Not I don't. Even, I don't think Las Vegas. No. Not even San Diego hometown race. See, that's. I don't know. Maybe I'd have to think about it because I don't know. I'm enjoying streaming so far. Two rounds in. It's a good stream last night again. Yeah, I uh, watched the playback, and it was a pretty good stream last week. And I watched A1, and just as good, and if if not a little better, uh, Phoenix was. Yeah, people seem to dig it so far. I got a lot of compliments. Uh, even getting on TeamSpeak this morning, people saying, like, oh, man, it was cool that, like, rider intros, you had, uh, like, the new track. Like, everybody was riding on the new track and stuff, so. Now, do you, uh, do you have... <coughs> them make new videos or have new footage every week no the the first two weeks was literally me just changing skins and riding for them inside of the, oh, okay. the stadium that okay. week although i've i've told them that if the track comes out on time and there's like enough time that you know they can certainly make a demo and send it to me and i'll i'll use that yeah but this track came out pretty late so look at us mobbing out here If you guys watched our group play on Reflex, you saw that I was just absolutely annihilating Kellen, but it's a, li it's a little bit now, more even today. Yeah, uh, now I'm you're saying. annihilating yourself off the track. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't stop. Like I said, this Supercross setup is no bueno. I can't even remember. Do you remember what lap time that you ran in qualifying on this track that, uh, in 2014? Uh, 2014, I actually did run the 450 class here, 2014. Did you? I did, because that, that was kind of my, this was my last race before I kind of rage quit from from the game for the rest of the yeah. year. Um, I rage quit Lakewood, or what was round three? Was it Lakewood? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because it went uh, Glen Helen, Hangtown, Hangtown, and then, yeah. Lakewood, so I rage yeah. quit Lakewood, and then I remember... Uh, 2012 Nationals, I ran the 450, so I was like, you know what, I'll just give it a shot. We'll see if they know if the racing is any better or, or whatever. And um, I ended up rage quitting first moto, and that, that was the last time anybody saw me until I came back for that Indiana National. Yeah, which you damn near won. Yeah, second moto, man. I came out swinging, and I got the luckiest start I think I've ever gotten in this game. <laughs> I got bumped by, uh, I think it might have been Brady, Brady Stanley, and usually his me. his leg would have destroyed me, but it pushed me way to the outside bales, and I bounced off the bales and just kept it pinned, and uh, I came out with the whole shot, and I led like 17 or 18 minutes of the thing until a lapper got me, and I kind of self-destructed a little bit, dropping to third. <laughs> But no, yeah, that was that was really surprising, and I don't think anybody <laughs> thought that I was gonna do that. Yeah, well, nobody even knew you were coming back. Yeah, it was kind of minute. it was kind of a last minute decision. I'm like, because I I play the track, I'm like, oh, this track is kind of fun, you know. And then first the first race there, being a new national and whatever, um, I'm like, you know what, I might as well race, and I'm not doing anything. So ran a lap. And uh, the first moto, I didn't have too much fun. But, no, that second moto was, was a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. I, I kind of like that track. It's a cool little track. But, it, obviously, if you're leading, it's always going to be more fun than if you're struggling yeah. to be inside the top 10 or even the top 20. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. The, the race that I won last year, Bud's Creek, I didn't like that track. I didn't flow on it very well at all until the race. And then I rode it pretty well in the race. Well, look at what so. happened to me just yesterday um, for the RF Supercross. I, I barely made it. I signed in with, like, two minutes to spare. And then I was the first heat, so I was coming in cold. And I I didn't think I was going to be anywhere close to even making the main last night. And yeah, I ended, ended up ended getting up second, second in my right? heat. Yeah. So 
Um, I guess when it matters, you always step up. Well, I think, honestly, it's kind of like, and this game has always felt this way to me, it's when, like, you least care, or, like, l yeah, I guess, like you said, least expect it is when you seem to do the best. Yeah. Well, like, last year, I could kind of care less about racing. Like, I wasn't really a big, like, like try harder, more or less. Like, I'd show up the day of the race, qualify, and then race, and I almost finished top five in points, you know? like. Right, and that's... Uh, in 2013, when I had my, that was my best year, the National Series, like, the first few rounds, I really cared, because a lot of people were pegging me to be a contender, and uh, after, you know, Dennis and uh, Jeremy Smith kind of pulled away, and there wasn't much on the line anymore for me, I just kind of, like, uh, put down some laps every week, and then uh, come race time, I just, my starts were just uh, incredible, and I mean, I was consistent enough to be in the top five. I don't think I finished outside the top five in any moto after uh, Red Bud that year. Damn. Yeah, you ended up, what was it, fourth in points fourth in, in 2013? Yep, fourth in points. Yeah. Uh, behind Smith winning, and then I think it was Dennis, Byron, and then myself. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty nice list to be behind. Yeah, um, definitely... Definitely something to be proud of in this game. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I redeem myself from reflex. I'll get you next, right. Moto. Let's see. Did you get better lap time? Nope, I got you. Man, we had nobody else racing with us. That's kind of lame. Well, it is Supercross season, so you're not going to see too many people <laughs> in all one. Yeah. That, well, like I said, <clears throat> I was telling you before this is that I got chased out of O2 because there's or 03 because there's so many dang people in there. But... Uh, all right, well, uh, this is going to conclude our first little bit of this gameplay, and uh, be sure to join us next week on MXS Online Play as we take on probably Bud's Creek, as we're about to find out after this restart. But for now, let's pause.